The testicular transplants of Dr. Stanley was an infamous medical experiment conducted by Dr. Robert Stanley in the early 20th century. This experiment involved transplanting testicles from one species of animal to another in an attempt to reverse the effects of aging. Despite its controversial nature, the experiment gained a significant amount of attention in the medical community at the time and even garnered support from prominent individuals, including celebrities and politicians. This video will dive headfirst into the background, the methods, and the results of this experiment and explore its impact on the field of modern medicine. Dr. Robert Stanley was a physician and researcher who had a keen interest in the effects of aging. He believed that the decline in hormones such as testosterone was a major contributor to the aging process and sought to find a way to reverse this decline. In 1914, he began experimenting with the transplantation of testicles between animals with the goal of rejuvenating the recipient. At the time, the idea of transplanting organs was still relatively new and experimental. The first successful organ transplant, a kidney, had only been performed a few years earlier in 1914. Despite the risks and ethical concerns associated with such procedures, Dr. Stanley believed that the potential benefits of his experiment outweighed the risks. Dr. Stanley's experiment involved the transplantation of testicles from one species of animal to another. He used a variety of donors and recipient animals, including rabbits, dogs, and guinea pigs. The testicles were surgically removed from the donor animal and transplanted into the recipient. Dr. Stanley believed that the recipient would then produce hormones such as testosterone at the same levels as the donor, effectively reversing the effects of aging. The experiment was not without its challenges. One major obstacle was an issue of immune rejection. When an organ is transplanted from one animal to another, the recipient's immune system recognizes the new organ as a foreign object and attacks it. To counter this, Dr. Stanley attempted to use animals of the same species, but even this was not always successful. Another channel was, was the issue of compatibility between donor and recipient. In some cases, the transplant was rejected outright, while in others, it was only partially successful. Dr. Stanley also faced the issue of determining whether the testicles were functioning properly in the recipient as there was no way to measure hormone levels at that time. Dr. Stanley's experiment generated a great deal of interest in the medical community but the results were mixed the best while some of his transplants were successful many were not in some cases the recipient animals showed no change in hormone level or physical appearance in other cases the transplant was partially successful resulting in only a slight improvement in the recipient's condition Despite the challenges and a lack of clear success, the experiment gained a significant amount of attention from the public and the media. Dr. Stanley's work was featured in several newspapers and even in an 1923 article in the popular magazine Popular Science Minority. The testicular transplants of Dr. Stanley had a significant impact on the field of medicine both negative and a positive. On one hand, it represented an important step forward in the development of organ transplantations. P. 
paving the way for further research in this field. On the other hand, it also highlighted the ethical concerns surrounded such techniques and procedures and the potential risks and drawbacks involved. The experiment also brought attention to the issue of aging and the desire to reverse its effects. While Dr. Stanley's methods were untimely and deemed unsuccessful, his work paved the way for further research in this area. Today, researchers continue to study the effects of aging and explore potential ways to slow down or reverse its effects.